Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. My name's Leah and this is Junker Necker DIY. Today I'm participating in the Twine It Up Challenge where we're using twine as a main element in our DIYs. I'll tell you more about that a little later. I have these three little pots that came three in a pack from Dollar Tree for $1.25. I used them in my 4th of July decor, painted in kind of an Americana look. And rather than packing them up when I took my decorations down, I'm going to be reusing them. I'll take the styrofoam out. I'll put something else in there later. And then I'm going to use nautical rope and twine. And the entire pots will be covered. I'm going to start off with the nautical rope, and I'm going to start at the bottom. I'll be using hot glue. This is my low temp to attach the rope to the bottom. I'm starting there first. I'm going to start with just a little dot of glue, and I'm going to fray out those ends even more than they are already, because when I come back around, I'm going to go diagonal over that. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. So now I'm going to put a little more glue down. Go over to that spot. Wrap around. And I'm going to put it down this time on the table to make sure that I'm not gluing anywhere around the bottom that would cause this not to sit properly on the desk. Here I am back at where I started. So let me get up to here first. Now I'm going to go sort of diagonally there. And I'm wanting to go across those frayed ends like that, kind of tucking it in so I can hide it as I go around more. And I'm not doing solid lines of the glue. I'm just doing here and there, especially since I've already got it onto the pot. You need to have more stabilizing lines, I guess you'd call it, up to this point. But yeah, I'm going to go around, go around and around till I get all the way up to this part here that's wider, stands out more. I'm going to call it the collar. That's what I've been calling them. I really don't know what the technical term is, but um, yeah, I'm going to switch off to the twine when I get up to here. I'm going to put a little bit of angle on that rope and kind of tuck it into place, sort of hiding it amongst the rest of the rope there, like so. And I have something like that going on. I'm going to start the twine right where the nautical rope ended and wrap it all the way up. I'm going to leave the twine attached and I'm going to start wrapping over the whole thing. Just like this. And then once I've got all I want around that, I'm happy with how it looks. Let me put a dot of glue here, because that's trying to crawl up. I'm going to go back to the bottom where I first started. And glue. Right there. I'm going to cut it, and this one is done. Well, actually, it's not quite done. I'm going to use a lighter on it to burn away those little hairs standing out from the twine. But yeah, I'm going to go all the way around. And there is that. I have this dowel that I'm going to cut into 
three pieces and I don't want them all exactly the same. I want them staggered a bit so they'll be a, a short, medium, and a long. I went with three, four, and five inch. I'm going to be gluing on those some sand dollars from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to just put a line here. Stick down a dowel. Line of glue. Dowel. Line of glue and dowel. Now I'm going to go back to the brown twine and start wrapping. Let's see. Going back to my low temp gun. I'm going to start right up against that dowel. And I'm going to wrap round and around. I'm putting the twine right up against that sand dollar. I need to leave a little bit at the end to stick down into the pot. So I'll glue that end and then stick it down in a pot. Now that they're all in pots, I'm going to start adding some of these stones from Dollar Tree. And this will give me an opportunity of propping up the ones that aren't wanting to stand up right, like this one. I'll just put down some glue right up against the twine that's touching the foam now. And I'll add some rocks. I'm trying to do it like a jigsaw puzzle. Figure out what size of the stones I need where to get the best coverage on the top of the styrofoam. And there, I'm having to prop that a little bit. So I'm going to let that sit. Maybe sturdy that up a bit. Yes, much better. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the camera now. And when I come back, I'll be showing you the finished little decorative pots. I love how these turned out. I honestly do. And since they're neutral, I can use them year-round if I want to. I think they would be super cute this fall with some pumpkins on the top. What do you think about that? The Twine It Up Challenge is hosted every month by Fanny from the channel Creations by Favi. And her special co-host this month is Yelena from Blondie Next Door. I'll be leaving links to their channels and a link for this playlist in the descriptions below. So once you're finished here, go check those out. For this DIY, I'm using one of these Dollar Tree Seahorses. And I'm going to be Mod Podging or Decapodging paper on the top of that. The paper pack came from Hobby Lobby and it's got a lot of different kinds of nautical and some beachy looking things in here. So I'm going to look through and see what I like for the seahorse. Oh wow that's cute. Now this is the one I want. I'm going to go with that one right there because that is so stinking cute. And hopefully I don't have to do a lot of patching on the seahorse. So here we go with the Mod Podge. I'm just using matte Mod Podge. I'm going to try to get the Mod Podge as thin as possible but still concentrated on those edges. Now if I mess up with this paper, I actually have two like that. So I'm not terribly worried. I could always put Mod Podge on the back of the seahorse if I totally mess up and just start all over again. So, do I go diagonally like the lines on the seahorse? I think I shall as much as possible. So, let's see. 
line that up right there follow the lines on the seahorse I guess I can move it to where you can see what I'm doing yep I'm gonna follow those lines and stick it down right there am I good yeah it looks like it looks like I got it Let's smooth it down a bit I only need a little bit more on the tail. Now I'm going to cut out around the seahorse. I'm not going to wait for it to dry. I'll go ahead and cut around. Yeah, it looks crazy right now. Now I'm cutting just a tiny little bit with some of that scrap paper that I cut away so I can line it up and cover those little tiny quarter inch spots I've got there. After I got the little scrap pieces Mod Podge down, I went ahead and went over the top of the paper with Mod Podge. It's already starting to crinkle, which I don't mind. I don't hate it. But, um, yeah, I figured since I Mod Podge those little scraps at the bottom, that it might change the look of the paper. Even though it's matte, it might make it look more shiny than the rest of it so why the heck not just go all over the top of it too I have some pretty significant bubbles but I am not worried about that in the least what I'm doing now since everything's dry is taking my emery board and going around the edges I'm gonna reuse this wreath with the nautical rope on it um, reuse I didn't actually use it I put this together, I want to say it was like four of the nautical ropes on there. And I glued some gnomes on. Didn't like it. Took them back off. It left this mess. But I didn't want to throw away the wreath after all the work I put into it. It's a Dollar Tree wreath form. Dollar Tree nautical rope. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to cover the most ugly spots which I think will be about right here I want to put the seahorse on the side and I'm going to tie it on with twine I'm going to use this green twine and I'll pull it tight once I get it all wrapped up I'm going to try to go in between these little I don't know would you call that a fin on the on the back and I probably should put some hot glue on the bottom side so it holds its position. Oh, most definitely. I want to get a piece of twine right, oh, don't you dare, right there. And I'm gonna heat up my glue gun so I can actually get it to be sturdy where it's actually holding something and not just kind of laying on the side. Now I will gently turn this over. Hopefully not losing where I've got my twine and I did not. Yay! I'll just put some glue right on the ends of the twine. Well, where it's wrapping around the seahorse to hold it into place. I'm going to use some solo wood flowers that I bought last year. The set that I got is called Beachcomber. And looky here. Such a pretty match for that seahorse. I'm going to put this one on upside down. Mm. I'll go ahead and take it one. I think there will be plenty of a cluster of flowers. Plenty. So I shall start with the largest 
and cover up this big blobby area here. And that's kind of got a, a little bit of a, it's not a stem, but it's not flat. It kind of stands off the frame. So I may put some ribbon over there too. Let's go here with that one. Out toward the edge more. And this one that I said, <laughs> the upside down flower, I'm going to put it right in between those, I guess. Kind of let it hang into the center of the wreath. Like that. This large peach one will go nestle that right in between those two. Oops, you're slipping. Put the other peach one here. A couple of whites. I'm going to actually tuck that in under that flower. Tuck that stem in. I'll do the same thing on the other side over here. Tuck in a little white flower. Right there. And you know what? It doesn't really need anything else. Since I got that out of the pack, I'll go ahead and put it Put it on there. Just a little bit of glue. Tuck it in right, right about there. Oh, that's so cute. Does it need ribbon? I don't know that I have ribbon that would match it. Oh, I should have defuzzed the twine. But still, it looks gorgeous. I super love this. I think it's so stinking pretty. So pretty. After I stopped filming, I decided to add that piece of the off-white nautical rope just because it was laying on the craft desk and I unwound, untwisted the ends on there and just glued it on in a squiggly pattern and I like it. Here's a poll for you if you don't mind answering below. Do you want to see more summer videos or are you ready to move on to fall? Your input would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to be twining up this starfish wreath from Dollar Tree and I'll be using regular brown jute twine like you can find most anywhere. And I've already started by making a knot in the center of the starfish right there I double knotted it and then I took off some lengths of the twine so I could work with it easier but you can see I'm just going in the same pattern under those lines that are going down the center of the starfish legs over the ones that are off to the sides now that I've made it out to the points I'm going to start wrapping in a different way. What I'm doing here, I tied on a piece of twine. And I'm going to go in a figure eight pattern. And I'm picking up the twine. First one side and then the other. I certainly hope that made sense and that you could see what I was doing with the close up there. Now. I'm going to add some white nautical rope on the top of that. Yeah, I'm just going to do down those and around the center. I'm going to leave that on there because those are so bad to fray. Stick that down. I want to go right up to the circle there. Going right down that middle wire. And curving it with the starfish's leg. I have these little shells that's from a broken necklace from the beach. And I thought I would just glue some here and there. 
on the starfish, especially where I have um, areas where I've got hot glue showing up pretty bad or a knot, whatever. Some of them are a lot smaller than others, so it'd be a little tedious for me to work with. But I also want to cover those ugly frayed ends there. I guess I'm going to start there. When I finish with these shells, I'll be done with this project. So I will see you when it's completed. I wouldn't say that I love this one, but I also don't hate it. I'm okay with it. It was a lot of work for it to turn out to not be one of my favorite DIYs. But you know, it is what it is. Thank you so very much for watching my video today. I hope that you enjoyed at least some of it. And if you did, let me know by leaving a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button on your way out. Remember to go over and watch the Twine It Up Challenge playlist that I've left for you. And thank you to our host, Fanny and Yelena. Until next time, bye-bye.